This is a question that appeared on the SAT math no calculator section. It's number 14, as you can see, indicating that it is a difficult question. And it's difficult because it tests a concept called change of base. Change of base is not really something tested very much on the ACT math section. So if you're an ACT math student, you can skip this video unless you just really love learning for some reason, in which case maybe you should talk to somebody about that. Change of base is called such because we have lots of great exponent rules as long as we stick to the same base. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Mads PM. If you're not familiar with Mads PM, great time to take a screenshot. When you multiply, you add. Divide, you subtract. If you raise a power to a power, you multiply. Notice that I only use 13s on this page just to show you that you need the same base for any of these rules to work. But going back to the question, 8 to the x over 2 to the y, those are not the same base. 8 and 2 are not the same. So what do we do? Well, we're going to think about what 8 and 2 might have in common. In particular, try to see if one is a power of the other. Is 8 a power of 2? 8 equals 2 to the... Did you say 3? 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. Don't trust me. Try it at home. So, I can rewrite 8 to the x over 2 to the y as 2 to the third to the x over 2 to the y. All right. You might not feel very accomplished, but remember your exponent rules. What do I do if I've got a power raised to a power? That's right. I multiply, so it becomes 2 to the 3x over 2 to the y. Okay, well, over, fraction bar, that's division. What do I do if I'm dividing and I have the same base? That's right, I subtract. It becomes 2 to the 3x minus y. That may not look pretty, but believe it or not, we're almost done. Look back at the question. That's right. The question says that 3x minus y is 12, meaning that 2 to the 3x minus y must be Due to the 12, which is into choice A. You can rewatch this video as many times as you need.